Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Uh, first vehicle that we're looking at today, actually took a quick look at it last night, but it got late. Uh, 1999 Chevy C3500 with the 5.7 liter V8. So history is, it's got you know 245,000 miles on it. Uh, the engine, the old engine recently just, I don't know, crapped out. So brand new remanufactured engine is installed. And the owner customer complaint is, it's not running quite right. Especially after a hard pull on the highway, you get off the exit and you're at a stoplight. And it's just shaking, not, you know, just running rough. He said it doesn't have as much power as the old engine did before, you know, before it blew up. So we're here to take a look at it. Um, no code stored and on live data I noticed that you know when it when it acts up and you can you can feel it you know it's a partial miss uh, cylinder number six counts up so this is the data from last night misfire counters Let's see cylinder number six is the culprit you just keep counting up counting up counting up so cylinder number six what are the possibilities? And after the truck cools down a little bit, it runs pretty smooth. So it's only when it's hot, you know, operating temp after hard pull, you get this slight misfire in number six. <clears throat> what are the possibilities? Well, is it compression, is it fuel, is it ignition? Let's take a look at the scope. So I just um, hooked up the Varus ignition you know probe to uh, the main wire on the distributor and this is the firing order one eight four three six five seven two who's the odd man out sure enough it's number six classic lean misfire so the spark is happening nothing wrong with the timing I did the injector flow with the scanner last night they flow even it's an upgraded spider with each injector, you know, a more modernized unit, not the poppet style, but actual, um, you know, each injector has an electrical, like a, like a regular injector. So, is it fuel, is it spark, is it compression? Or, what's the variable on these older Chevys? A gasket leak on the intake runners, leaning out that mixture, only idle. When it's you know, under load, no issues at all. Everything's great. Fuel trims are, you know, close enough. But, and, and if it cools down, there's, there's no misfire. So, would a valve sealing issue show up only when it's hot? I don't think so. I'm really suspecting a leaking intake manifold gasket on runner number six, just slightly, and it shows up when the engine's really hot, only idle. So that's my theory. Uh, and the spark, the waveform, does prove that this is a lean misfire, indeed. So what, having this data, how can we check for a leaking intake manifold gasket on runner number six? Um, we could try tightening down the bolts and see if the misfire goes away. Um, that's an option. Uh, otherwise, it's really kind of tough because if you shut the engine off and start doing tests, it'll seal right back up. So you have a, you have to do it when the engine's running, when it's hot. Right now, uh, let's listen to the truck. Got your custom exhaust. the engine's shaking slightly like it's not terrible <laughs> but on the scope we can definitely see the number six and this is uh, stored data see there it is it's pretty consistent
not terrible like right there that's that's your classic lean lean misfire so I want to do is hook up the scope again and just tighten down the intake manifold bolts to see if anything changes whatsoever uh, that's the quickest test I can think of to rule out this intake manifold gaskets obviously everything is new all the gaskets are new and if we go to our scanner right now it's live data the misfire is not bad enough to show up here it's only bad enough after like I said a really hard pull on the highway when the engines even hotter than it is right now sitting in a parking lot idling but I think we can still go to the scope get out our wrench tighten down those bolts and see if anything at all changes Alright, so this is live data on the scope. I uh, apologize about the glare. So we can set this up right here. Number six. You can see that tail is slightly higher than the rest of of the spark plug. So that's my sink. This is the pickup right here. Just take a wrench and tighten down these bolts see if it makes any difference. So sitting here in the truck, if you warm it up just by holding the RPMs up and then let it off, you can see on the gear shift lever, ba -ba 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 -ba. and yes, number six is indeed counting up. So it's bad enough for the misfire counter to pick it up. If we go to our scope, Number six. There it is. See that tail goes way up. So what is the next step? Compression check, maybe on the even bank, cylinder by cylinder, or it's still a variable that the intake manifold gasket is slightly leaking. The owner said that the gaskets that came with the crate motor, he said they kind of were like cheap and crappy. So I'm like, oh, I should have used the you know the nice Felpro ones. Those work really well. Um, if you remember the case study with the 5.7 that had the gasket that was like sagging and it had a huge vacuum leak on number, cylinder number five, that one was bad enough where the intake manifold vacuum was getting into the crankcase, so the crankcase was getting sucked down. And if you block off the PCV valves, it was like, you know, the whole crankcase was under vacuum. Not, not the case here. I did that off camera, just take the PCV valve out and the breather plug both ports and it was actually building a little pressure inside the crankcase which is normal uh, not creating a vacuum so let's get the compression gauge out we can put an in cylinder transducer in you know in each cylinder maybe two and four I I don't know and uh, or four and six and go from there all right so Doing compression check, I want to compare cylinders four and six. So, in cylinder pressure transducer, actually, the upgraded one, you can see this one's gold, more accurate than the version 1.0. All right, so this is cylinder four, it's gonna be known good. I know the glare is bad, but we'll review the data here. So we're gonna let it idle and then full throttle back to idle shut her down okay so I'm gonna save that and then we'll do the same 
check on cylinder number six. So what we're looking for, this is no good, cylinder number four. So let's go to where it's stable, idling. So there's the zero mark, and first I'm going to measure the peak. It's exactly 50 psi. <clears throat> then you want to make sure that you know the intake back in here is about minus nine psi. If the cylinder had a leak, it would lose some mixture, and then this pocket down here on the um, so compression this would be the power stroke it would actually be lower than the initial vacuum since it lost the mixture and now it's pulling it back down it doesn't have as much mixture in the cylinder so the pressure would be actually less this one seals great so that's a no good let's put the transducer in number six and see if the waveform is exactly the same as cylinder number four and also one other thing you can check is on a snap throttle the pressure got up to like 190 psi so we'll note that as well um, go from there just a note for the fans of spark plug color analysis cylinder 4 plug this is cylinder 4 looks a little bit lighter then cylinder number six, a little bit lighter perhaps. Well, let's put the transducer in number six now. All right, so I reinstalled the number four plug and number six is right here. So we can put the plug in there so it grounds out the electrode and run the same check. All right, here we go, 100, zero. Stabilize. And shut her down. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at cylinder number six. So again, right here where it's steady idling, we do the same checks peak pressure identical right at 50 and the bottom line at vacuum we're at minus 10 psi we see absolutely no pockets no leakage I mean right on the money so and then uh, let's just do a quick check of the peak pressures right here so on the other one we had like 190 this one is at 186 so no engine mechanical problems. That cylinder is sealing just as well as number four. The only variable left is the intake manifold gasket. So that's good news for the owner. He doesn't need to send the engine back for warranty. He just needs to install a, a set of quality, like Felpro lower intake manifold gaskets and this truck should run smooth as butter that's my final call and obviously the owner will keep me updated once he does that repair but um, yeah otherwise engine mechanical this thing is uh, is good um, would that explain the slight difference in the spark plug color yes if there's a slight vacuum leak then you know the combustion won't be um, as good a number six but again you can only feel it at idle, so that's kind of a, that also fits, you know, um, fits the symptoms that it's a slight intake uh, vacuum leak right at that runner number six, then that's what will happen. That's it. We'll move on to the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. Well, I hope you're enjoying uh, the road trip so far. Uh, the Chevy was it the C3500 with the mystery misfire so my call was slightly leaking intake manifold gasket causing a partial soft misfire on cylinder number six only when it was hot 
So the owner, he said he purchased a nice set of Felpro gaskets, made sure, you know, replaced them. And he says the truck is still running rough. So it, <laughs> at this point, I'm like, I'm kind of striking out here. First the EcoBoost, now the Chevy. Um, so I told the owner, hey man, just get the truck to me. I won't charge you any more for diagnostics. I want to get to the bottom of this. It's a really interesting case study. Um, but, you know, that's as far as I could go on the road. See, you know, seeing that the, the gaskets themselves were, he said, inferior. And all the signs pointed to that being the root cause. So, he's going to get the truck up here eventually. So, we'll do a follow-up video. But that's where we have to leave this one. Uh, plenty more to come. Staten Island is coming up. So stay tuned for that. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.